hello guys today we will learn about the interrupted suturing on a practice pad so we can uh, make good sutures on the real patients when we get them like clw so let us start now so what we have to do is we need a forceps we need needle holder needle and the scissor so you have to go perpendicular to the incision and your movement should be at the wrist joint initially when you are learning and uh, this is your initial suturing you should go one by one that is one edge should be inserted first then the other edge so when you are through with the both edges you should just pull out the thread completely now you have to make the loop so you have to take loop inside the c then you have to cross then again you have to make a loop inside reverse c hold the smaller end of the suture then again you have to cross so i am taking only two sutures because this is the practice pad otherwise you should take at least 3 or 4 depending on the suture material now you cut the long thread and also the shorter is also uh, long one so we have to cut this also now you have to continue like this throughout the length of the incision or the laceration if you are talking about the patient you should do it through whole length of the clw and the same thing should be follow the movement should be at the wrist joint and if there are some gaps you can again go back and take the suture and doing the same method as loop and the reverse c loop so this is the final suture being taken and this is the final look of the suture pad so thank you so much next time we will learn about how to take continuous suture so wait for the video